Cue the funky music, because I'm Brian Trigg. And I'm Jackson Hannafee with the BWWBP 2011 Inventational Not Top 10 Plays. Here we go, we're going to start things off with Cork Gleason. We're making an incredible effort, but not enough to catch this fly ball by Sam. It's truly a valiant effort, though. Yeah, you can see he gets about four, three or four inches off the ground. He's some hot Ballerina, there. swan dive. Swan dive, yeah. Jump. So close. I don't know what to technically call that. Okay, how graceful is too graceful? We got Teddy Harrison here. Um, after he he gets a walk from Lucas Eppley, he does something remarkable here. He just tosses the bat through his legs. And it is something that neither of us have ever seen. Yeah, I get no one really saw it before until we watched it back. Okay, here we go. John Cookham. Famous for check swings and leaning into pitches. Which was what was argued about here as soon as this pitch was thrown. As you can see, he gets hit, and Brad and Blake start arguing with Cookham that he leaned into the pitch. Which, look, obviously, he did. You look at it again, and you can see he gives it that little he gives extra, little nod. That little extra head bob nod thing there. Okay, these are all a bunch of pitches that just didn't make it to home plate. Some of them not even close. Yeah. This one actually bounced up into the strike zone, but... You know. It would have been called a... I guess it's a strike and crooked. <laughs> hitting the strike zone. Lucas Epley was ridiculous at pitching. And if you could see him from the side, you would understand, but... He throws about 8 feet into his, the ground. His knee almost touches the ground every time he pitches. Okay, here we go. Jackson Hanafee. How did that one taste? Yeah, it didn't taste that great. <laughs> Tripping. Going for a... Uh, foul ball hit by Brad Carpenter, and he just falls. As you can see, he starts to trip about three to four feet behind second base, and then just completely loses his footing. All in good effort, though, going for the foul ball. Okay, here we go. This is kind of crazy, because it would have been ball five, which would have been a walk. But... Brad just... Decides to help us out in this game. Yep. Giving us the extra um, to strike him out. It's kind of funny pitch. because the next pitch, strike three. Yeah, just happened to be a strikeout. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> okay, William Flood. Around the school, he's known for being the basketball player who is a spaz. If you ever see him in the halls, call him spaz. Well, I think we, I think he should stick with basketball. He definitely does not know how to play with the ball. But with this toss of the bat here, I I don't know how he's ever going to get rid of his spasmus. Yeah, he just okay. has that on all the commentators. Brent Shockley pulling one of his usual shenanigans, getting his teammate Lucas Epley out, what appears to be on purpose. Probably because of an earlier dispute in the tournament. Yeah, Brent course. was supposed to give Lucas uh, a ride home, and they started yelling at each other about how they didn't want to give each other a ride home. And know? it ended up in this confrontation here. Yeah. Lucas, you are stupid. Yeah. Alright, well that's our uh, not top 10 plays. Please remember to comment, subscribe to Triple Play 1882 and watch Corey Kusner's tidbits of his life. Right here.